Hey now guys, it's me, David, AK Knockout21. How y'all doing today? In this video, I'm going to show y'all how to run Homebrew on your Nintendo GameCube. It's a fairly easy thing to pull off. It's not that difficult. However, you do need a couple of things. Uh, one, you're going to need a action replay disc. You can find these available on Amazon for around 16 to 20 bucks. You can need a uh, an SD card reader for your Nintendo GameCube. Uh, you can get, find these on Amazon. They're almost like everywhere around there. And finally, an SD card. Now, I do have to point out, uh, there's some specific requirements to actually get this working. First, the SD card is going to need like the capacity of like 4 gigs and below, and also has to be a class 4. So uh, keep that in mind when actually doing this. And also, you're going to need some homebrews. On this video, I'm going to show you how to run the Game Boy uh, Player homebrew. Uh, but uh, from what I understand, uh, other homebrews run under the same principle. I'm going to go ahead and put a link in the description of where you can find uh, this web page and other homebrew in particular. Here, like I said before, is the Game Boy Interface Player. It's basically an alternative to the Game Boy Player disc that Nintendo uh, provided with the actual Game Boy Player hardware. But if you ask me, uh, this this one is a hell of a lot better than what Nintendo gave us. Uh, the colors are better, there's less latency when actually playing the game. So it's an overall a better uh, experience. My only gripe is that it doesn't have a way to actually change the control uh, setup. But that's a minor nuisance, com you know, compared to what to how badly the actual Game Boy Player looks, uh, the actual Game Boy Player software, I mean. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and uh, download this. Oh, I'm just showing you just pretty much download it. It's an easy download. You're going to open the zip file. And you're going to want to put all, all of this into the root of the actual memory card. Uh, you don't have to put in any, any subfolder or anything. Just go ahead and drag everything into the root of the memory card or the SD card I should say and just let it go it doesn't take that long and from there we're going to go ahead and put the SD card into the into the uh, SD card reader okay now with the files already in the memory card you're going to go ahead and put this into slot B of your GameCube. Uh, the Action Replay program won't read if it's in slot A, so make sure it's in slot B. You see the Action Replay disk is already inside. Push Start, and we're going to go ahead and uh, switch screens to show you what else you got to do. Okay, and with the GameCube booting up, got to give it a little while, and the Action Replay screen comes up. From here, you'll be taken to the what to what's on the actual memory card, and uh, the Homebrew files are under DOL, D-O-L, and yeah, that's pretty much it. You, you'll just pick one, and from there you pretty much know what to do uh, here you have a uh, Pokemon Fire Red going uh, yeah as you can see it looks hell of a lot sharper a lot cleaner despite being on composite video it looks hell of a lot better than what would have appeared on the disc provided by Nintendo for the Game Boy player but yeah uh, that's pretty much it uh, thank you guys for uh, watching my video. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And like always, have a good one. Take care, you guys.